final in the women's 400. These are the top four qualifiers from yesterday's heats. Beat collegiate record held by Natasha Hastings from Clear, South Carolina three years ago on this track. And that is Jessica Beard, the junior from Texas A&M. She won the seated section of last year's NCAA Indoor Championships, but uh, she was beaten by the woman just inside her in lane five, Francina McCory of Hampton. She won this title out of the section one heat, at much as did Sonia Richards way back then. This is how they'll line up. McCrory finally reached her potential last year. She had several years where she struggled a bit and wasn't as confident mm -hmm. maybe that she belonged here, and she did. And she put it together last year very well. So she is the defending champion in lane five. Jessica Beard of Texas A&M. They're counting on her to score as many points as possible. Keep in mind, in the first heat, just for fun, 23.97 was the first 200. Let's see what these women do. Here we go. And McCory is starting to deal with that stagger with Jessica Beard. And down in lane four, that is Joanna Atkins of Auburn moving well. Looking to try and get that lead at the break. Now here comes Francine McCory. And she says, no, I want that lead. I know how important it is. So McCory gets the lead at 200 meters to go. 2381. She went through the first 200. And it's McCory followed by Jessica Beard and then Joanna Atkins. And McCory trying to do it again, but this time from section two. She's the defending champion. She was running the slower section last year. Down in Connor Station, Jessica Beard tied up badly. So it is Francine McCoy. Now we watch the time. Wow, 50.563, which has been corrected to 50.5. Her title and saves her best year for her senior year, setting a 